Guys, I got a quick little video. If you remember, I made a Steven Universe trading cards video where I showed off all the trading cards in a binder. When I was buying those, I actually saw there were plenty of, in the 1990s and early 2000s, any kind of movie or any TV show actually made trading cards. And so what I'm going to show off is season one and season two of the Lion King trading cards with the official binder that I found off of eBay. Let's take a look. All right, so if we look here, the easiest way to collect the trading cards is to get a box or a case. So this was sealed and everything, and I unpacked each and every one of them. So as you see there, you get 80, eight trading cards in a pack and 36 packs in a box. This is the easiest way to collect all the trading cards because you're looking for a base set. In series one, if we open the binder here, was it up to 90? Yes, series one was one through 90. So as we see here, here is all of the cards in this lovely case. And these cards are double-sided like that, as we see here. And so usually the cards are just stills from the movie. And this was very fun to, you get to unpack them, you get to slide them in the binder here. So these are just, you know, stuff in the movie, just telling you what's going on. And so, yeah, if we skip over, like here are character cards, all the characters, stuff like that. And then number 89 and 90 are actually the, it tells you the card count or the card collection list, whatever you want to call it. The checklist. So I have one of the rare cards here. This is Timon. He's actually 3D and shiny like that. You know, just like Pokemon, there are rare cards and they're going to be marked as such. Unfortunately, it was pretty easy to collect Series 1. I didn't have to finish the full box, so I only have one special card. But it is cool nonetheless. I have more special cards of Series 2 to take a look at. Here we have a Series 2 box. And for whatever reason, each and every pack comes with this stupid card that says Lion King Series 2 and just tells you about, you know, them making the Series 2 box. But nonetheless, here is Series 2. And same um, odds and everything, 8 packs in a card, 36 packs. So I did have to dig deeper into that box. And we were collecting cards 90 through 170. And I do kind of like the Series 2 better because you get some of these cool drawing cards and everything. And some of these cards, if you put them together like that, lead to art. Like actually a picture. Like we'll see here. There's nine cards that all go together like that. And it's so cool. But so this is, there is another picture. Uh, 90 through 170. And this is the official binder, like I said. This is a Lion King trading card binder. You can just find it off of eBay. But so that is through 170 there. There we go. So FB2, it just means it had the glittered border. And then so... So these all have different odds. These special cards, you're probably not going to get a line in the box. I did, though. So here is C, one, two, three, and then five. I unfortunately, it's, I could get another box and probably find it. It's just, you know. So these are very cool because they are just, you know, sketch cards. They just look very cool. Really like this one. So those are the sketch cards. And then lastly, we have pop-up cards. And once again, you don't need to, if you want to, these probably are the things that sell. So it's supposed to pop up like that. So you can collect these if you want to, but the main purpose is to collect the base set. And last note, the inserts I bought off Amazon, I don't think they come with the binder. You would just have to buy those normally separately because this is just a three ring binder. But that is series one and two. 
of the Lion King trading cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to guarantee this series is going to stay for long. It's just what I've been doing recently. And it is really fun collecting these because these boxes were cheap. It was maybe 15 or 20 bucks for a case. And depending on the series, you could probably get them even cheaper. But if the series is more popular, the box might be more expensive. But still, you're get if you get a case, you're guaranteed the base set pretty much. I don't want to say that for sure, but I've never gotten the case and not had the base set. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. See you later.